Today I'm gonna to be going over some garage sale pickups I got and one very lucky thrift store run. Let's get those finds. Thank you for bringing them out. Do you know how much you wanted for them? Let's see, um, I was gonna do like a 10, 10 each, or if you get multiples, then we can do a discount. Okay. Did you do three for 20? If I get three? Yeah. Okay, I'll do I'll do these three. Okay, cool. Box? Yeah. That's what he said he'd say. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, how much do you want for it? 20. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. You want to sell any Nintendo? My aunt saw oh. that I had it. And that cell right there. I took up these Converse shoes. Those, that, this bat. And also the Simba plush and a bunch of Build-A-Bear. A bunch of Build-A-Bear uh, clothing and stuff. And then at another sale, you just saw me pick up this Xbox, but I asked and they gave me PS3, but this one's blue, so that's awesome. Um, and they said they might have more. And then one other sale, I picked up this Center Swoosh Nike. And if you don't know Center Swoosh, people are usually looking for that kind of stuff. It does have a blemish right here. So I'm gonna try to get that out. Hopefully it comes out. But if it does, um, it'll be, should be a $30 flip, I think. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for right now. See you guys next sale if there's another one. All right, guys, at Savers, she had some a good deal. So this a Wii U, it looks like it's complete with the with the controller, the pad, everything. And then um, it was only marked at 50 bucks. So I bought it, should be pretty good. Um, hopefully there's a game inside too, so we'll see. But very, very happy, normally it's missing the pad. I have is Little Nightmares 2 and I play that so okay none of worse yeah I'll take this Five bucks. All right, Good morning guys. Hopefully you guys are having a nice day. I'm excited to show you guys some of the pickups I got. One new console I didn't have in my collection. So let's get started. The first sale I already had a bolo. I found a Nike Center Swoosh hoodie for $5, an Easton Hammer Bat for $5, and then three PS4 games, Destiny 2 being the best one for $20. Everything you saw there, I paid $30. As of the recording of this video, that Center Swoosh Nike hoodie already sold for over $30. So very happy with that. Definitely a bolo if you guys are not not aware Nike Center swoosh is definitely something that people are buying. I gotta have more. At the next sale, I found some different type of items. I found a Nike Golden State shirt, a Patagonia tee for a dollar, two Call of Duty Wii games, Mass Effect 2 and 3 for $360 for $15, plus a Slyke Horse for $5. So for everything you saw there, I paid $21. The 360 and the Wii games, I did get another reseller's yard sale, another yard sale for a reseller. They're not gonna want you know a dollar game or anything. And I felt like I wanted to buy something because they were a viewer and I wanted to support them a little bit too. Typically, I would have probably passed on that kind of stuff, but still should be making my money back and making a little bit in the profit. Money, 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 money. And then I went to the thrift store and typically, usually when I go to the thrift store, I am not, I stop garage selling, but I was in the area and I was gonna drive away from the area where the thrift store is. So I decided, you know what, let me peek in and see if there's anything because it was about to open the door. I walked in, rushed to the video game area and saw nothing. Rushed to the toy area, saw nothing. Clothing area, saw nothing. Shoe area, saw nothing. At this thrift store, they have a boutique area where they keep like, you know, the things that they think are higher end or whatever. And I walked up and I saw a Wii U and I was like, Wii U's are pretty good. They're probably gonna ask, you know, $100 for it. So I asked the tenant, hey, can you tell me know what the price? And they told me it was $50. So I was like, you know what, $50, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it for that. Cause we use controller pad and it had the system and all the cables and everything. So I was like, you know what? It's worth the risk. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. I had a 20% off coupon. So I used the 20% off coupon for that. Ended up paying 43.43. Very happy with that. Right after I left that, there was a garage sale sign. So I turned, I asked if there was any video game stuff. They just pointed to a 360 console that was out and they said they wanted five bucks for it. They said they didn't know if it worked. So S consoles typically do end up working. They're definitely heavier duty than the elites the bigger ones so i decided to pick it up for five dollars hey if it doesn't work i can sell it for parts i gotta have more and another so i found more video game stuff i found a 360 and then also a sam bat for softball and also found the console i mentioned in the beginning i found a blue playstation 
Gen 3 Slim. I've never, ever, ever seen a blue PS3 Slim before. And looking at comps, I can see that they're a little bit more rare. For everything you saw there, I ended up paying $20, which is an incredible deal. They did have an original Nintendo, but they did not want to part with it. They also had a Game Boy. I tried and tried and tried to get them to bring it out. They didn't bring it out, but I was still very happy to pick up a blue PlayStation 3. But there's still one more sale. I like money. This sale was the first sale I hit in the day. From outside looking in, you would probably be disappointed with what, what it looked like I got. But if you dig a little bit deeper, you're like, oh, okay, that's why he picked it up. So what I found was Converse shoes, some My Little Pony toys, seven Kid Ramona books, Lion King plush. But the highlight item is Build-A-Bear outfits. And there was definitely two in particular that I wanted to buy in this set, and they were Hello Kitty. So if you ever, ever, ever see Hello Kitty, Build-A-Bear stuff, always pick it up. Outfits, shirts, whatever, pick it up because they can be worth some serious money. For everything you saw there, I only paid $6. So the Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty stuff is gonna get me my money back and in the profit. Overall, very happy with the pickups. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite pickup was from this video. And like always, remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And follow my Instagram and TikTok at Grimsy Raider. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see what I find next. Thanks guys.